Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given to me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scriptures might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word and the world hates them because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them safe from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I consecrate them in truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I send them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them, that they may also be consecrated in the truth. The Gospel of the Lord. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Lord Jesus wants our holiness, that we, be, that we achieve holiness, eternal life with God. This is the life of the saints. And today we celebrate St. Isidore, his other of my favorite saints. He was a humble man. He was a farmer. He worked for other people. He don't have his own land. He worked for other people. But he was a devoted man. He rose early morning just because he needs Holy Eucharist every day. He discovered how important is that. And I don't remember at what time usually the farmers start their labors, but St. Isidore rose like one or two hours before, like at three or four in the morning, and he looking for the church close to that area for celebrate the Eucharist. Prayer in the morning, Eucharist in the morning. That is so important. And he worked hard, and he produced more than other partners in that land because he put God in the first place. That is the way for us. When you put God in the first place, you found time for everything and you found strength in order to resist many difficulties, many proofs in your daily lives. San Isidore is an example of that. Prayer and work. Prayer and work. And work for the salvation, for your salvation and the salvation of others. San Isidore prayed a lot, not just for him, for his family, for all the peoples around him. And now it's a good intercessor that we have. He's saying the most important thing that we can do in this life is to achieve that goal, to be saints. Let us ask to the Lord, Lord, help me to be saint. Every day, I want to be saint, Lord. I want to live in communion with you. Help me to do good, reject evil. Help me to see clearly what is your will in my daily life in order to be your witness in the middle of the world. Let us pray in silence.